morning, Brigantine Community School. Thank you for joining us for another episode of BCC. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, and wear your favorite color theme day. Please join us in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good luck to our boys and girls basketball teams as they face Epsikin today. Girls play away in Epsikin and boys are home. Good luck to all players. Today for the, on the menu we have buffalo or BBQ chicken subs or chicken nuggets. Both come with a side of tater tots and fruit. Before we sign off we would like to leave you with our quote of the week. Life is what we make it. Always has been, always will be, by Grandma Moses. Have a great day. We will be signing off with a daily weather report from Bob Mack. Good morning, Brigantine scholars and staff. Hope everyone is well and bundled up in this cold weather. Today will be intervals of clouds and sunshine with high temperatures, 53 degrees, with winds west to northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy skies, early followed by mostly cloudy skies and a few showers later at night with low temperatures at 38 degrees with winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Today the sun came up at 7.15 and sets at 5.01. This is your meteorologist Bob Mack signing off. Have a great day. Pay close attention to this scene. Here's the playground, and here's the bully who's trying to feel cool by picking on this guy, Tar. Now here's a bystander. A bystander is someone that sees bullying happen and doesn't know what to do. And back here, we have Ned. Ned's going to start off a bystander, but when the bullying starts, he does know what to do. He's going to choose to be an upstander. <laughs> Ned's going to stand up to bullying. And when he does, he chooses from four upstanding options. One, be a buddy. When Ned sees Tar getting bullied, he shows Tar that he has a friend. Bullies aren't used to their targets having a buddy. It could change everything. Two, interrupt. When the bullying starts, Ned finds a way to interrupt. Here. He interrupts by asking Tar to come and join him at the electroball hoop. When Ned interrupts, he gives Tar a reason to walk away from the problem. Three, speak out. This one takes tons of courage. Here, Ned faces the person who is bullying and says, that's mean, don't do that. By speaking out about what is happening, it shows that meanness is not welcome. It also gets other people to look and they might join as upstanders too. Four, tell someone. Whether it's during the bullying or after it, Ned's going to choose to tell an adult about it. This is not tattling because he's not trying to get someone in trouble. He wants to keep someone safe. It takes courage and hard work to be an upstander. But by being an upstander, you'll be an awesome friend to someone when they need it most. Hey Wyatt, what's up? Hey, Kendra, so I was watching this TikTok, and it was talking about an upstander. What's an upstander? An upstander is someone who takes action for bullying. Oh. Yeah, thanks. I want to be an upstander. You can. It's not that hard to take action when you see someone being bullied. Okay. Hi, I'm Maggie, and if someone was being mean to one of my friends, I would be an upstander by saying stop. Hi, I'm Billy, and if uh, someone was bullying my friend, I would be an upstander by telling an adult. Hi, I'm Lorelai, and I will be an upstander by telling a teacher when someone's getting bullied. Hi, my name is Robert, and I can be an upstander by telling the teacher and telling them to stop bullying. My name is Zamora, and I can be a upstander by telling an adult if I see bullying. I'm Salvatore from fifth grade, 
And what I can do to be an upstander is by being assertive and helping the person out. My name is Giovanni and I'm from fifth grade. I can be a, a um, upstander by um, standing up for somebody that's getting bullied. I'm Wussy and I can be an upstander by if someone's getting bullied, I could tell them to stop. Brady and ways I can be an upstander is by standing up for someone. I'm JJ and ways I can be an upstander is by telling the bully to stop. Probably choose to be upstanding whenever you see bullying. When bullying takes place, you'll make a champion choice to be a buddy, or interrupt, or speak out, and also tell someone. If you do any mixture of those things when you see bullying happen, you'll go from being a bystander to being an upstander at your school.